let's go all the way back and we're going to proofread our code and I'm just going to look at this and I'm pretty confident that I have it correct but it's very important that you have all the code correct so that whenever you put this to the machine it actually runs just the way you expect it to now I'm confident that I have this correct so what I'm going to do is save as and this we're going to call it CNC help test and the reason that we call it test is because this is the code that I'm pretty pretty sure will will be running and we make any changes once we are sure that the code is correct then you would give it a final name and that would be the code that you would use to cut that part so now let's go ahead and run the simulator and take a look at the code. Now we're going to go ahead and run the code and you can see right now that if we look here, here is the part and the first thing we can do is look to make sure and it looks like that part's exactly what we are expecting. Now notice the dotted lines. The dotted lines are simply rapids for the machine so if I bring it in here we can look at a big picture you can see right now the machine is sitting over here at home uh, and in order for this to cut it's going to come up to this point here uh, again the dotted lines represent a rapid move so let's go ahead and go back I'm going to set the machine up I'm going to first let it run the code so it's going to come up and we can't see it moving but if I hit jog follow you can see the tool is here it's going to be coming into the area you can see it here again our tool bit is here and here comes our part so we'll go back and let's see let's just run it right here okay now we're drilled the first hole this arrow over here represents the, the, the tool so you can see it's going down and then going up. This line right here represents the height of the material. So now you can see the machine's moved over here and it stopped and it says insert the screw. Remember the notes that I wrote in? Insert screws? Okay so we put in a screw here and we put in a screw here and then we simply hit uh, the run again. So let's go up here and hit uh, cycle start and now we'll go back to the display so you can see the tools moving over and now it's going to go and drill this hole and then come down and drill this one notice the bit going in material and out and you see it's going to retract up see there's that Z.5 so it's going to come over and now if we look at the material here uh, and actually the Z.5 was about here and then it went to Z1 which is what the rapid was for it to move across the table so now we're down to where we're inserting screws see the message here whatever you put in these parentheses is what's going to show up down here so for instance now we're going to start cutting the part so you're going to see that it's going to say uh, milling chain offset and that's because that was kind of the default and is what it'll be at the end of this code you can see there's the first one here's the words milling chain offset and see milling chain offset is the next one so that's going to be here again cutting the center out and now it's going to go over and cut the outside edge notice where it started it's going to go around we'll take a big picture here and take a look and you can see it's following it around and it's cutting exactly where we want it so that's how I go about generating the G-code, editing the G-code to run it on the machine. And then again, it may sound like it's time consuming to do it this way, but if you ensure that your code is, is correct before you ever take it to the machine, and this is really the only way you can find out if it's correct, um, then you save the risk of, or kind of slow down the chances of you either breaking a bit or damaging your machine because you ran it to its limits. Um, so you want to make sure that uh, you get the, the machine in the right place so that you're, you're not trying to cut your part and have the parts hanging off the table. 
Uh, and one other thing that I'll cover here real quick because this is about to stop. I'm going to show you how you could set it up. Let's say that you had this code and you wanted to move it from where it's at right now. Now the machine's going to notice the machine rewound but it stopped right there. So let's look at the last line of code. See the last line of code just tells it to go to Z1 and that's it. So the, the tool is actually stopped over the material. Well we don't really want that. Remember how I moved the machine back out of the way so that it could drill the holes? So let's go and edit this code. Go down to the last line and we were moving back to um, I believe it was 35 yes x35 so we can come in here and drop down a line and put in x35 and we can also put in y uh, let's see where we're at right now because what we want to do is see right now we're at y11 so we could put in y14 so let's put in y14 and say okay so we're going to close this and we're going to save it and now let's go all the way down. I'm not going to run this whole code, but I'll run the last portion of it. We're going to go here. We're going to set next line. And now you can see that it's going to start right here. And it's going to cut this outside edge. But this time, whenever it stops, it's not going to stop here. It's actually going to come up and go over and stop over here. And actually, it'll stop up a little bit because I had it set. Um, I changed the Z. Uh, the Y uh, axis as well so it's going to come around and we will just let it finish out here again really important that you make sure the machine or the code is telling the machine exactly what you want it okay so now it's going to go up but see now it moved out of the way and it's moving out of the way and it'll go wherever you tell it to go and then it'll stop and also the code will rewind because notice that it's rewound here so you can manipulate your codes um, but it's very important that you understand what it is that you're changing and and know why you're changing it and know what's going to happen when you change it so with that said like I say the last thing I want to do is let's back out of here and I want to say okay if we want to move this these parts and we want to cut them down here well you don't have to go and redraw them all you have to do is jog the machine I'm just going to jog the machine where where it is that I want it so let me back it out here so we can see it alright I'm going to jog the machine so you can see I'm going to jog it over and I want to jog it so that whenever I move it I'm going to be moving those parts so let's let that first hole be right here so I'm going to take and move this to where this last hole is here so the way that I do that is I move the machine where I want this first hole to be and then I use the offline button here and then I simply run the code now the machine here is going to move but my machine is not going to move it's going to stay right where it's at so if I center the, the tool over this first hole and I know that this this first hole is going to be right there so again my machine is not going to move but the code is going to move and it's going to show that it's moving on the screen but in reality it's not moving so I can wait until the code gets to that hole if that's the one I want to use and see again my machine is offline so my machine is not moving right now even though the software is moving so again it's going to stop and now I'm going to start it again and now this time since I wanted this hole right here to be where the machine is, as soon as it starts down, now it started down, I've stopped it. Now I'm going to put the machine back online. So now the machine is hooked back to the software, but now I need to make sure that I'm at the right depth. So what I have to do now is reset the Z. So I'm going to bring the Z up 
and by bringing the Z up uh, I can tell it where the top of the material is. The top of the material should be zero. So what I'll do is I'll bring my my bit to the top of the material and then I will Z zero and by doing that now the the uh, top of the material is where the bit is and it's at zero. So now if I rewind it and I start again now it's going to go back down here and it will continue to, to drill the holes and the part will be exactly where I want it rather than, than where it was drawn. So that's how you can manipulate your machine and the software to get the part exactly where you want it on your table. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, if you're going to edit your code, take your time, make sure you have all your decimals in the right place, make sure you uh, uh, are sure that the code is correct before you ever run it on the machine and uh, hopefully uh, the things that I've shown you here you can uh, take and, and uh, enjoy your experience with uh, CNC machining.